Hello, my name is Ruben Vega, a United States Marine Corps veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. I was in 6153 airframes and hydraulics during eight years of service. I was born in a little village called El Aliso, Municipio del Fuerte of the state of Sinaloa in Mexico. At the age of 10, I decided to immigrate into the United States looking for opportunities my own country did not give me. Grateful for these opportunities from the United States, I decided to enlist in the United States Marines and do my part as a citizen to preserve the peace and the way of life of the United States. Now that I've gotten out, I decided to go back home to live. Reasons, cost of living, one of them. But I found myself with, with a very unsecure situation that led me to a new, a new job to now fight in the national, the Mexican National Guard to make a call to all the citizens, to all the Mexican citizens to come together and unite so that we can take justice into our own hands and change the direction that we are heading as a country. There's no reasons why we should be a load on the United States back. We are rich in resources and we have plenty to offer the world. I swore to protect this country by all foreign and domestic enemy. I intend to con continue to honor this oath. But I also have a commitment with the country that gave me birth, that if the security has gotten out of hand, it is up to the citizens to come together to unite peacefully so that we can change this reality. Article 31 of the Mexican Constitution obligates every citizen to take part of the Mexi Mexican National Guard to defend our country against uh, invasion from a foreign country. Now, we are all obligated to know how to handle weapons, to know our rights and our obligations, to preserve internal order and peace. Therefore, I've been making some videos in Spanish showing how it is that you load a weapon, how you point, how you shoot. Just in case my Mexican brothers ran into a situation where they need to protect themselves. So they can pick one up, take it out of safety, safe, load around and be able to shoot it precisely and to also inform of the four weapon safety rules so that we can minimize negligence negligent discharges such as treat every weapon as if it was loaded never point a weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot keep your fingers straight enough the trigger until you are ready to fire and keep your weapon on safe until you intend to fire this is not a call to, the whip, uh, to pick up the weapons to the people of Mexico. It is not, at least not at this point. But I would like to inform my veteran, my American veteran brothers and Mr. Trump of a plan surfacing south of the border to take over Mexico from the same Mexican people, the people of Mexico, which is in our constitutional law that we must do in case we have a government contrary to the principles that our constitution holds or obligates. And that is the case. Article 136 says this of the Mexican constitution. Now we have a government that has stepped all over our human rights. 43 students are still missing. And the government had part in this. It's no news to anyone. The whole world knows what the situation in Mexico is like. It's an unsecure place to live in. It's an unsecure place to visit. And if we come together to making a better Mexico, 
I believe we can count on a great ally due to its resources. We can slow down Central and South America in Mexico, the, the immigration to the United States. So far right now, Mexico, Central and South America, we all immigrate to the United States. And it's time that we take a load off the United States back and do our part as Mexicans to become better allies. Because what affects one country affects the other. Because we're neighbors, we're right next to each other. We cannot keep allowing for this to happen. So I ask for your support in this, that you help us as Americans maintain the United States government out of this issue. Because as a United States Marine, I know how, how much our government, the United States government, gets in other business. And it is not to the benefit neither to the people of that country nor to the United States, honestly. It's always about money, whether it be oil or any resource. So, Mr. Trump, if you'd like to help, you could throw some money over to the autodefensas. Maybe some weapons because the United States government has already armed our government, our Mexican government, and the cartels. Fast and the Furious was only one of many operations. We only knew a few. There's no telling how many operations the United States government was involved in getting weapons to Mexico. Knowing damn well the corruption that we have down there. Well, this time things are going to change. It is us, the Mexican people, making a stand, and we will not back down, willing to assume all consequences, whether this be jail or death. We will prevail. If you can find it in your hearts to support us with communication radios, they would be of great help, tactical gear or weapons. Even of small caliber, they will be of great help. This will be done peacefully, but we will go take this as far as we need to take it to make sure that the reality in Mexico changes. This 2017, on the 2nd of October, we intend to go through with this plan. So we are calling to the people of Mexico, to the unity. There's a platform called Unete Mexico. Mexico Unite. It's unetemexico.org. We're calling to the Mexican people to put their information down there if they're willing to come together to change our reality. Away from political parties on a horizontal movement with no leaders. Because every time there's a leader, this one gets either shot or killed, incarcerated, or bought. We're not willing to assume those risks anymore. So we are counting on the intelligence from a collective. Together, we are a lot, more, we're a lot smarter and we are a lot more capable. No one person is capable of leading Mexico to freedom, but many people coming together, sick and tired, putting aside all our differences, we can create this change. It is possible with us, the masses. The masses that are sick and tired. We're only calling for 5% of sick and tired Mexicans. If we get 5%, we'll have a lot more than the government can handle. For the moment, this is all I have to say. But I will be loading videos on YouTube and Google, Facebook. My name is Ruben Vega. I'm known in Mexico to, uh, for being the man of the donkey. I got known because I walked 5,500 kilometers in the company of my donkey, Tocayo, a real donkey. He hauled a cart on the road. And for two years, we were visiting village by village, town by town, city by city, state by state, from Tijuana to Mexico City, and from Culiacán all the way to Los Angeles, California. Because we came to the United States through Nogales, Arizona. 
went to Tucson, went to Phoenix, and headed over to San Diego. We stopped in uh, LA, and we went back home. We will continue from LA to Washington when the time is right. But for now, it's time to make a stand. I have met the needs of my people. I've walked inch by inch, step by step. You're not gonna tell me shit's fine down south of the border. Shit's all messed up. It's time. I must emphasize that I consider myself to be a Christian, but even Christians have to understand that David had to take care of Goliath when he messed with his people. They've done more than just mess with my people. It is my obligation to go after this giant, corrupt the government Mexican system, and be willing to give my life so that Mexico may live. Because yelling Viva Mexico every 15th of, 15th of September will not be enough. Let's do something together, together, so that Mexico may live. Because we'd rather die on our feet than to live on our knees. Eleven, eleven, firm on our grounds, and we will not back down. God bless you. Thank you. We'll keep in touch.